Kath and partner Tony Clemente have been waiting ages for this moment. Okay. So don't worry if you don't worry. Hello. Two weeks ago, Tony went for his first job interview in 23 years, and he thought it went well. I, did, I didn't muck it up. They like me so much. I got a good kiss. Yeah. I see. No, that's all right. Thank you. Bye. Mm. I know you didn't get it. That's all right. Yeah. I'm yeah. not unhappy. Don't worry. I mean, that was an experience, wasn't it? Well, I told him what happened. We had a good day. Can't win it all, can you? Tony and Kath are just two among millions who find that life's a struggle when you're skint. Without a job, Tony's debts are mounting. There's a letter saying how much I owe him. Rent arrears. What are they threatening, did it say? <laughs> they evict me. With a monthly pension of £390, Tony always needs money. If you're broke, then buyback stores are one of the places to go. It costs you 21 quid, basically. I ain't got a problem with 70 Dave Rowlands will take your goods on a 28-day loan in exchange for cash. You get all sorts of people in life that run out of money. I've even served police officers in there. Everybody runs out of money now and again. Very high problem. Tony's pawning his TV for the fifth time in five months. This blinking television backwards and forwards, isn't it? Thank you. Cheers, Tony. Just uh, set that one there. Yeah, thank you. As well as his debts, Tony's money's also disappearing down Kath's throat. Do you not have drunk? Go on. What's that? Is that? Hardly anything. That's all right. Absolutely hardly anything. And how are you feeling? Fine. <laughs> I didn't drink hardly anything. Is that hardly anything? Is that hardly for you? Anything. You know, is that up Absolutely to, up to you? Absolutely hard. It was only up to there. Hardly anything. You don't have to show me, do you? Don't I? Nick Faber's a regular in the buyback store. But it does work, but we have to try with speakers, obviously, plug-in speakers. He's constantly trying to sell all sorts of things to feed his gambling habit. Today, though, he's not had much luck. I can do 150 on your DVD, can't I? Oh, I'll, I'll lend you some money, Nick. Oh, right, thanks. Is that all right, Dave? Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Sit down and relax. Cheers. Yeah. That's Tuesday. Thanks very much, Dave. See you later. Good, Dave's all right, he'd lend me some money after all, got guy's good blue. I bet your cassette on it won't work or, or something on it won't work. Because I bet he's found it somewhere in a bin. I found all that stuff anyway, everything I've never got in there I found. Nick needs to find a better supplier of goods to sell. I used to get this trade it magazine and a friend of mine gets it and it's got a free to collect section and all these things here are free to collect so people just want them to be taken off their hands. You just various things that I fi or something and uh, I'll go and collect it and take it and sell it. Hello, uh, are we in the, uh, about the free to collect and the trade it for the laser printers? I wonder if they're still, still available? Oh, it, oh, sorry, I didn't state that in the, in, in the advertisement. All right, so ring after six, is it? OK, thank you. He said middle of sorry, because he said, uh, you're not available after six. So I need to say that in the advertisement instead of being a twat. Right, what's next? Horse manual. Well, what is? Bring your own bags. <laughs> Hello, I'm ringing about in the trade it, the Amiga Black and White TV. I wonder if it's still available. 
Yeah, we won't, call, we won't call no earlier. Thanks so much indeed. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, it's guaranteed she's going to keep it back to us until 6.30 this evening on the little TV. So, yeah. Tony Clemente's financial worries are growing larger by the minute. How do you think that happened? I don't know. Probably a something by the looks of it. The girlfriend done it. She put her feet up there and done it with her feet. She got a drink problem. I'm trying to get her off of it, but I'm not doing very well at the moment. I was in his car and I'd had a drink and I... I didn't even remember doing it. I pushed my foot straight into the windscreen. I cracked the whole windscreen. I didn't even remember doing it. It tends to trigger off something if I drink. If I'm stressed and I drink, I t it, my aggression comes out and I get, I lose it. If she does it again, I'll club her a one. <laughs> Do you think Kath will pay for it? Not really. She spent all her money on drink. When you've had a drink, you're very strong and you don't even know what you're doing. I swung that door and broke it. One day we were having an argument, I go to the door, I went smack. Look what I done, I split the top and I spit it all down there. We've had so many fights when I've had a drink. I've threatened to push Tony over here many times. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. He said he'd jump over here one day. I, we had such a fight in here. He said to me, I can't stand anymore, I'm going, I'm going to jump. I said, well, excuse me, Tony, I'm not clearing the mess up on the bottom down there. Oh, we've had some laughs, mate. Eighty pound I got there. Yeah. Yours. Right, thanks very much. I like people, but when I've had a drink, I don't know, something takes over. Nick's travelling to the other side of Bristol on the promise of a free TV. There's a Wendy's location somewhere, so hopefully I'll just knock on the door and politely ask the lady, a bit nervous, if I try and... Uh, actually, I should keep some tissue. My nose is always running. I just have a shave. I'll be as polite as possible I can. I think this is number 20 here. Is that number 20? Yeah. All right, it's a light on. Hello, I rang earlier in the trade about the little television. Yes. Um, I forgot to leave your name, my name's Nick. Is it? Uh, I, forgot, I don't know your name, sorry. Natalie. Oh, my name's, oh thanks very much. Is it still here? Yes. Oh, thanks, really brilliant. Nice. Thanks, oh, yes. that's brilliant, thank you. It is. Thanks very much, okay, eh? I should give you a present. I just trouble you. I've got a TV, I don't know what size Cabinet. it is. Oh, TV. I, um, I'm not English, so I talk in no. centimetres. That's all right, you've got <laughs> so 20 or 20, 20, yes, French, so, yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, which is a colour TV. Oh, wow. Yeah. Would you be interested in I it? I would, actually, yeah. It'll be great. I, I, I mean, it's not being used. I'll okay, I'll, I'll wait here. Thank you very much. Look at this. It's a wicked one. It's better than I thought. Just Are you right with that? Is that heavy? Is it right? It is oh, okay. right be, I got it, I got it. There's the cable. Thanks so much. Right. Uh, ooh, I got it. It's safe like that. So thank you very much. Bye. Bye. I've got to put this down, it's killing me. Uh, I just get, get, go and get it, so. I don't scare the lady. Thanks, thanks. She's in love with God, she's, God, what should I give her those little bells? She's beautiful. French. Beautiful France. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, we're the strongest man. Uh, uh, I better be quiet, I'll scare the neighbours. <laughs> It's not just Tony's windscreen that's been on the receiving end of Kath's frustrations. No. What's yeah. that horrible scratch you got? Kath. Like she drinks her rum. Yeah, I know. She's terrible. I know she is. Bloody... Can't leave me alone. She's drinking it now. She? Can't get a bloody... She's terrible, she is. Don't look that bad, do it? Yeah, it does. I put some cream on it, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Too good to you, Tony. Huh? Too good to you. Yeah, I know you are. You're like. Okay. 
Now that's a guy. I used to be like that. Happy. I think it's, it's not him, is it? It's his, it's his um, who he lives with, really. He's, he's a sheep that's following, isn't he? Someone that's uh, just taking advantage of him, really. But over the months, I've seen him deteriorate so much. It's unbelievable, it, you know, and he's not the drinker, which is unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Uh. Right, I'm going out tonight. I've had enough. <laughs> you were going to see that. When are you going to see that? Well, it's better than sitting around looking looking at me, isn't it? Me being miserable. Quite if you want. I'm not stopping you. I just don't want to be around her when she's like that. I just don't want to be around her. Smooth charmer, isn't it? See, you know how to handle her, don't you? The way you talk to her, like. How can I go out there and be happy? It's a change of shifts for Claire Byrne and her partner Andy Williams. Andrew! Andrew! Right, I've got to go now. Can you get up, please? Andrew! Andy's started working nights while Claire does days at the local hospital, but it's not working out. This is all part of the problem with the job as it is at the moment. Well, I said he's getting up, I'm going to work, and I won't see him until 9 o'clock at night tonight. Ten minutes a day we see each other, so... You could have an easier life if you wanted to, you? you could just like, not bother going to work. Yeah, I'd not bother going to work and we'd be, we'd be better off, a lot better off not working. But I would, be a, I would be ashamed to work, to claim, when I could work. I'd be, I, would, I would feel embarrassed to say to people, oh, I'm, I'm on the doll. Louis, go and get Dad. <laughs> Do you think the sacrifice I mean, of, of doing the odd shifts and stuff, has that been worth it? It was terrible, wasn't it? Since I started this new job, no. I've never been in so much step. I, I'm still in that now. Andy used to get paid weekly. Recently that changed to monthly, and now they're finding their money doesn't last. That when he's working nights, monthly pay is just messed us straight up, really. Nick's free TV is going to a new home. But I just wondered if we could do it on a definite buyback for a tenner. I know the CD player works and the radio works fine, but there's no volume on TV. You get, you get a decent picture, you get a reasonable picture. Give me a five in it. All right, Dave, that's, that's fine. Thank you very much. Thanks. But I will definitely buy it back because I do like it, actually. The CD player works fine. I wanted to buy it back now. Yeah, I, I will really do. I will let you down. OK, I will let you down, I promise. There, mate. promise. Thank you, thanks. No. Nick, I had to give yeah. you a pound coins, you got no fivers, it don't mean you've got to put in the machine. No, 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 no. The fiver isn't going into the fruit machines. Instead, it's going on another of his addictions. What is it? It's the speed, about an eighth of it. Yeah, I took a bit of it. Seems to be quite good stuff. <laughs> but I took a bit of it. It's a bit dampy sort of stuff. It can be some of those powdery, but this stuff seems to be the best all to deal with. I don't know how you take it, but... This, you know, it's good stuff. Where does your money go? What do you spend your money on? Certain amount goes on drugs, certain amount goes on gambling, um, tobacco, food. A bit. Of, I don't really. I don't get as much food as I should get. Get really. I got really sort of like grow up a bit. Really, I suppose it's sister says it. Really, really, I do. It's true. Really, start thinking more like an adult and sort of take responsibility from my actions. Really. I don't like the fact that I'm impulsive, I just don't think things through. Like, the same thing over and again, and that's why you start to dislike and hate yourself. That's not a, a, a healthy way to be.
When you live on the breadline, any financial errors are disastrous. A misunderstanding with his bank has left Andy out of pocket by £220. They're charging me for misuse of the card and un un unauthorised borrowing. I should have had still three or four hundred pounds in the bank to float on for a month. But I've now got in there eight, eight pounds to live on the month. It pisses me off, I mean, easy money for a bank. Andy and Claire are also regulars at the buyback stores. They've already handed over £400 of their belongings. And with the latest disaster, Andy's now having to pawn his son's games. Just the PlayStation 2. Just short cash again. PS2. <laughs> well, I just went to the bank, I ain't got my wage yet, but there's £300 to drift somewhere. And Claire's jewellery is also going in. Okay. Sixty-five. Four, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Every month he gets paid monthly. All right, since he started his job. First month he started, he was skint, and he knew he was going to get paid at the end of the month, so he pawned all his gold with me. Because what's happening is he's coming in to redeem it all at the end of the month. It's costing him five, six hundred quid a time to redeem it. And then it's just a vicious circle. He'll be back, guaranteed, next week with the same bits, same gold, and he'll want to do the same thing again. I don't like doing it. I wish I never had to do it. But every now and then you just think, fuck it. I, what if I want it? Why can't I have it? Everyone else do, do you know what I mean? You just get a bit fed up of living like that and you just go mad a bit, don't you? And then, then you're fucked up even more. <laughs> Excuse my friend, she's going to start swearing soon. <laughs> Constantly broke, Nick's decided to do something positive about his drug habit. It's causing a bit of, a lot of trouble in my life and and a lot of worry for people and my family. So I've just come down to, to, to go through a group therapy session. First first time, a bit nervous, but I'm sure it'd be helpful and I, I hope to follow it through and keep on going to the groups. It's hard to describe because you feel sort of numb and empty and you can't express yourself and when I take the speed I feel alive and I stay up all night and I feel happy, I feel energetic but you know there's downsides to it, I've, I've read up on some of the facts about your physical health, how it can deteriorate your physical health and things, you know, various things I've read up, it's not doing my physical health no good but um, I think it's, now it's just come to a point where I've got to make some changes really and I, I'm really, really going to make an effort to make some changes in my life. There's been a dramatic turn of events over at Tony and Kath's. Why were the police called? Oh, because me and Kath was... She was fighting with me outside the flat. The next door had rang the police up. And, um... It went from there. She was arrested. The court told her that if she sees me again or gets in touch with me, she's in prison. It was in the bathroom. So we stood there and she put her hand towards my neck. You know, what were you doing? Just don't want to do it. Couldn't you stop her? No, I didn't want to stop her. I didn't want to stop her. Why not? No, because I don't get a woman back. No, I'm not a violent man. I gotta get have a gotta have a fag. It'll be alright, Tony. I gotta give the cash converter three pound, isn't it? Do I need to take the the, 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 the ticket down? Just give him three quid. I think it would help if you took your ticket down because I didn't write you down.
Back home from drug counselling, Nick's putting words into action. Right, this stuff is wicked. It's making me ill. It's going to kill me. What is this? It's me. Smell it. It tastes disgusting. It makes me sick. Sick of myself. It's, it's, it's going to kill me. I think I've got to make changes, obviously. Yeah, it's going to kill me. It's making me insane. I'll just get rid of it, yeah? So why have you decided to do this, Nick? Because I'm sick of it and I've got to make changes, like, you know. I was, I ended up dead, I was like, I seen that bloke who used to be my support worker, he said, Nick, he's killing you. There it goes. <laughs> Fuck you. You happy about that? Thanks, yeah, yeah. Seriously, no, I mean that. I'm not just right of words, I mean that. You've got to make changes, aren't you, sometimes, otherwise you're just going to end up... I would have lost it or just, like, hating yourself or just dead. So it's getting better anyway. Progress is being made, I think. Hello, Tony, all right? Yeah, he's gone. Who's gone? Calm. What do you mean, gone? He's got arrested. What for? My face. Oh, good. I'm glad she's gone. Yeah. Um, Maybe you get some peace now. I bet you get all your stuff back now and you get your life back on the road with her gone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's a fish in the sea, mine, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Find someone else. Someone that ain't going to beat you up and drink you dry. Yeah. Oh, my flat's estate. Eh? My flat's estate. Well, we'll get it on top, get some bits back, get you a table again and get your telly back. Yeah. Soon be back on track, mate. Yeah. You want to smile, be happy, yeah? How can I be happy? It's not the end of the world, mate. I know. Don't, don't, don't cry on me, Tone. All right? Okay. Yeah? All right, I'll see you next week. All right, don't take me steady, mate, all right? All right, all right, all right. See you later, Tone. So why did you put up with the abuse for so long? Well, I got used to it, didn't I? I got used to it. Why did you get used to it? Not being beat up. It's... I like to control me. And it's nice to be controlled, isn't it? But not by being being bit up, but... I like to woman to... to I like to woman to, um... Take control of me. But it's not right though, is it? No. Nick's just received his disability living allowance. But today's money isn't going towards the usual vices. It's going to clear his debts. Oh, Dave, I owe you five pounds. Really? Yeah, I do. Remember? I owe you five. Oh, mate. Cheers. One for me, one for you then, Thanks, mate. I knew Dave. you'd come through. Yeah, no, I wouldn't let you down. Thanks, Dave. Right. Thanks. They're going to need no freak machines. No, 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 not bad. I'm be good. No, seriously, no messing today. All right, Nick. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Cheers mate. Dave. See you later, mate. Cheers. He's also paying a surprise visit to his bank. Put 80 back in. So, how does that feel putting money in? It felt strange, actually. It felt good, it felt good actually. It looks like a bit of funny eyes. Well, Nick, you've got money back in. Yeah, that's a bit strange for you. Safe way, no, isn't it? Safe in there. It's a bank, so I. Right, Cheers then. Cheers. Cheers. Andy and Claire have made it to the end of the month. Over £500 of their wages will be going towards redeeming the family's goods. That's a remote control car, that's a watch and a gold chain, that's a cross and a gold chain, another chain and gold and a ring and a gold bracelet. And you just put so much stuff in there. That's Claire's bracelet, that is. Is that, is that everything, mate? Yep. So Mackenzie will be happy you got the PlayStation back? Yes. Yeah! Daddy! Daddy! That's a bracelet Andrew got me for Christmas. He said, he asked me before Christmas, 
who's your most favourite people in the world? I said, my mum, you and the kids. So he had all our names. Mum, Andrew, Mackenzie and Louie. I was really, really shocked when he got me, got me something like that. Andrew's not really thoughtful. Like my first Mother's Day, I got a bunch of flowers from the spa. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get a fruit on, can you? <laughs> Women, it's all the same, isn't it? After the fight with Tony, Kath's resurfaced at a friend's house. I had a bit of an incident with Tony and I can't remember because of the drink. I don't remember him coming back into the room. They told me he came back into the room and I started fighting with him. And I don't remember any of it. So it was to do with the drink again. And uh, I was just taken away. When was the last time you had a drink now then? Do I have to answer that? Martin. <laughs> Is Tony pressing charges? No, he dropped them all. Dropped all of them. Do you know what he said? I want her back. I've um, now got to stay away. And uh, that's what I'm doing. Because I was, um, you know, taught a valuable lesson. With Kath out of the picture, it's down to Tony to sort out all their debts. She had that fitted in. I ain't even been watching it. It's supposed to be £11 a month. But, well, so I have it taken out. I don't want to do. Patty said, leave it in. If Kath's paying for it, but how can she pay for it if she's not here? I have a, a, sky, a put, sky box put in my flat. Can I have it taken out, please? Is there any chance of having it taken out? I can't write in, my love. I can't write in. Yeah, but I can't have it. I can't do that. I'm, I can't. Mis I can't spell. I can't. I can't do anything. No, she's not here. Hang on a minute. Can you speak to him on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, Mr. Clemente would like the uh, sky dish removed. A box. This is such a mess. I'm a mess. I'm a mess here. I guess everything's going wrong. So what happened, sorry? Everything's going wrong on my side. <laughs> Can't pay bills. What do I do now? <laughs> Next time on Skint, Gaz struggles to find a room of his own. I can't afford nothing. I can't afford it. I'm on the I'm on the dull, you know. And Tony and Kath run into trouble with the law. As far as I'm concerned, he's harassing me, John. <laughs> he's harassing me. <laughs> Over at Tony and Kath's. Why were the police called? Oh, because me and Kath was, she was fighting with me outside the flat. The next door had rang the police up. And um, it went from there. She was arrested. The court told her that if she sees me again or gets in touch with me, she's in prison. It was in the bathroom. She so stood there and she put her hand towards my neck. You know, what were you doing? Just don't want to do it. Did you stop her? No, I didn't want to stop her. I didn't want to stop her. Why not? No, because I don't let a woman back. No, I'm not a violent man. I gotta get a gotta have a fag. It'll be alright, Tony. I gotta give the cash converter three pound, isn't it? Do I need to take the, 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 the ticket down? 
Just give him three quid. I think it would help if you took your ticket down, because they can write you down. Back home from drug counselling, Nick's putting words into action. Right, this stuff is wicked and it's making me ill. It's gonna kill me. What is this? It's me you can smell it. it. Tastes disgusting. It makes me sick, sick of itself. It is, it's, it's gonna kill me. I think you've got to make changes of us and yeah, it's gonna kill me. It's making me insane. I'll just get rid of it, yeah? So why have you decided to do this, Nick? Because I'm sick of it and I've got to make changes, like you know. I was, I ended up dead. I was like, I seen that bloke who used to be in my support work. He said, Nick, he's killing you. There he goes. What are you? You happy about that? Thanks, yeah, yeah. Seriously, no, I mean that. Not to say the words, I mean that. You've got to make changes on it sometimes, otherwise, you're just going to end up. I would have lost it or just like hating yourself or just dead. So it's getting better anyway. Progress is being made, I think. Hello, Tony, all right? Yeah, he's gone. Who's gone? Car. What do you mean, gone? He's got arrested. What for? My face. Oh, good. I'm glad she's gone. Yeah. Um, Maybe you get some peace now. I bet you get all your stuff back now and you get your life back on the road with her gone. Yeah. yeah. Without a job, Tony's debts are mounting. There's a letter saying how much I owe him. Rent arrears. What are they threatening, did it say? <laughs> They're Vic, mate. With a monthly pension of £390, Tony always needs money. If you're broke, then buyback stores are one of the places to go. Okay. It costs you 21 quid, basically. I ain't got a problem with Dave Rowlands will take your goods on a 28 day loan in exchange for cash. You get all sorts of people in life that run out of money. I've even served police officers, you know. Everybody runs out of money now and again. Tony's pawning his TV for the fifth time in five months. This blinking television's backwards and forwards, isn't it? Thank you. Cheers, Tom. Just uh, set that one there. Yeah, thank you. As well as his debts, Tony's money's also disappearing down Kath's throat. Do you not have Trank? Go on. What's that? Is that? Hardly anything. That's all right. Absolutely hardly anything. And how are you feeling? Fine. Hardly anything. Is that hardly anything? Is that hardly anything. you know? Is that up Absolutely to you? Absolutely hardly. It was only up to there. Hardly anything. You don't have to show me, do you? Don't I? Nick Faber's a regular in the buyback store. But it does work, but we have to try the speakers, obviously, the plug-in speakers. He's constantly trying to sell all sorts of things to feed his gambling habit. Today, though, he's not had much luck. I can do 150 on your DVD, can't I? Oh, can't get any I'll, I'll lend you some money, mate, if you want. Oh, aye, thanks. Is that all right, Dave? Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Sit down and relax. Cheers. Yeah. That's Tuesday. Thanks very much, Dave. See you later. Dave's alright, he'd lend me some money after all, guy, guy's a good bloke. I bet your cassette on it won't work, or, or something on it won't work. Because I bet he's found it somewhere, in a bin. I found all that stuff anyway, I've never got in there, I find. Nick needs to find a better supplier of goods to sell. I used to get this trade -in. Tony Clemente's financial worries are growing larger by the minute. 
How do you think that happened? I don't know. Probably the brief or something by the looks of it. The girlfriend done it. She put her feet up there and done it with her feet. She got a drink problem. I'm trying to get her off of it, but I'm not doing very well at the moment. I was in his car and I'd had a drink and I... I didn't even remember doing it. I pushed my foot straight into the windscreen. I cracked the whole windscreen. I didn't even remember doing it. It tends to trigger off something if I drink. If I'm stressed and I drink, I t it, my aggression comes out and I get, I lose it. If she does it again, I'll club her a one. <laughs> Do you think Kath will pay for it? Not really. Spent all her money on drink. When you've had a drink, you're very strong and you don't even know what you're doing. I swung that door and broke it. One day we were having an argument, I go to the door, I went smack. Look what I done, I split the top and I spit it all down there. We've had so many fights when I've had a drink. I've threatened to push Tony over here many times. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. He said he'd jump over here one day. I, we had such a fight in here. He said to me, I can't stand anymore. I'm going, I'm going to jump. I said, well, excuse me, Tony, I'm not clearing the mess up on the bottom down there. Oh, we've had some laughs, mate. 80 pound I got there. Yeah. Yours. Like, thanks very much. I like people, but when I've had a drink, my... no, something takes over. Nick's travelling to the other side of Bristol on the promise of a free TV. There's a Wendy's location somewhere, so hopefully I'll just knock on the door and politely ask the lady, a bit nervous, if I try and... Uh, actually, I should keep some tissue. My nose is always running. I just have a shave. I'll be as polite as possible I can. I think this is number 20 here. Is that number 20? Yeah. All right, it's a light on. Hello, I uh, rang earlier in the trade about the little television. Yes. Um, I forgot to leave a name, my name's Nick. Is it? I, know, oh, I forgot. I don't know your name, sorry. Natalie. Oh, my name's Nick. Oh, thanks very much. Is it still here? Yes. Oh, thanks, yes. brilliant. Thanks, oh, yes. that's brilliant, thank you. It is. Thanks very much, oh, eh? I should give you a present. I just trouble you. I've got a TV. I don't know what size Cabinet. it is. Oh, TV. I, um, I'm not English, so I talk in no. centimeters. Sorry, right. <laughs> so I'm 20 or 20, yes, French, so, yeah. yes. Yeah. Hello, I'm ringing about in the trade at the Amiga Black and White TV. I wonder if it's still available. Yeah, we weren't, weren't calling her earlier. Thanks so much indeed. Thanks, thank you, bye. Yeah, it's guaranteed she's going to keep it back to us until 6.30 this evening on the little TV. So, yeah. Tony Clemente's financial worries are growing larger by the minute. How do you think that happened? I don't know. Probably the brief or something by the looks of it. The girlfriend done it. She put her feet up there and done it with her feet. She got a drink problem. I'm trying to get her off of it, but I'm not doing very well at the moment. I was in his car and I'd had a drink and I... I didn't even remember doing it. I pushed my foot straight into the windscreen. I cracked the whole windscreen. I didn't even remember doing it. It tends to trigger off something if I drink. If I'm stressed and I drink, I t it, my aggression comes out and I get, I lose it. If she does it again, I'll club her a one. <laughs> Do you think Kath will pay for it? Not really. Spent all her money on drink. When you've had a drink, you're very strong and you don't even know what you're doing. I swung that door and broke it. One day we were having an argument, I go to the door, I went smack. Look what I done, I split the top and I spit it all down there. We've had so many fights when I've had a drink. I've threatened to push Tony over here many times. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. He said he'd jump over here one day, I, we had such a fight in here. He said to me, I can't stand anymore, I'm going, I'm going to jump. I said, well, excuse me, Tony, I'm not clearing the mess up on the bottom down there. Oh, we've had some laughs, mate. 80 pound I got there. Yeah. Yours. Like, thanks very much. I like people, but when I've had a drink, my... no, something takes over. Mm. 
Nick's travelling to the other side of Bristol on the promise of a free TV. There's a Wendy's location somewhere, so hopefully I'll just knock on the door and politely ask the lady, a bit nervous, if I try and... Uh, actually, I should keep some tissue. My nose is running. Well, I just have a shave, really, but I'll be as polite as possible I can. I think this is number 20 here. Is that number 20? Yeah. All right, there's a light on. Hello, I uh, rang earlier in the trade about the little television. Yes. Um, I forgot to leave a name, my name's Nick. Is it? And I'm oh, Natalie. I forgot. I don't know your name, sorry. Natalie. Oh, my name's Nick. Oh, thanks very much. Is it still here? Yes. Oh, thanks. Constantly broke, Nick's decided to do something positive about his drug habit. It's causing a bit of a lot of trouble in my life and, and a lot of worry for people and my family, so. I've just come down to, to, to go through a group therapy session. First first time, a bit nervous, but I'm sure it'd be helpful and I, I hope to follow it through and keep on going to the groups. It's hard to describe because you feel sort of numb and empty and you can't express yourself. And when I take the speed, I feel alive and I stay up all night. And I feel happy, I feel energetic. But, you know, there's downsides to it. I've, I've read up on some of the facts about your physical health, how it can deteriorate your physical health and things, that, you know, various things I've read up. It's not doing my physical health no good. But um, I think that now it's just come to a point where I've got to make some changes, really, and I'm really, really going to make an effort to make some changes in my life. There's been a dramatic turn of events over at Tony and Kath's. Why were the police called? Oh, because me and Kath was... She was fighting with me outside the flat. Next door, I'd rang the police up. And, um... It went from there. She was arrested. The court told her that if she sees me again or gets in touch with me, she's in prison. It was in the bathroom. She so stood there. And she put her hand towards my neck. You know, what were you doing? Just I'm going to do it. Couldn't you stop her? No, I didn't want to stop her. I didn't want to stop her. Why not? No, because I don't get a woman back. No, I'm not a violent man. i got to have a, got to have a fag. It'll be all right, Tony. I gotta give the cash converter three pounds, innit? Do I need to take the, 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 the ticket down? Just give him three quid. I think it would help if you took your ticket down, because they didn't write you down. Back home from drug counselling, Nick's putting words into action. Well, this stuff is wicked. It's making me ill. It's going to kill me. What is this? It's speed. Smell it. it. Tastes disgusting. It makes me sick. Sick of myself. It's, it's, it's going to kill me. I think I've got a magazine on. A friend of mine gets it. And it's got a free to collect section. And uh, all these things here are free to collect. So people just want them to be taken off their hands. You just various things that I buy or something. And uh, I'll go and collect it and take it and sell it. Hello, uh, are we in the, uh, about the free to collector and the trade it for the laser printers? I wonder if they're still, still available. Oh, it, oh, sorry, I didn't state that in the, in, in the advertisement. All right, so ring after six, is it? Okay, thank you. He's in the middle of sorry, because he said, uh, you're not available until after six. So I need to say that in the advertisement instead of being a twat. Right, what's next? Portsmouth Newell, well, what is? Bring your own bags. <laughs> Hello, I'm ringing about in the trade at the Amiga Black and White TV. I wonder if it's still available. Yeah, we weren't we calling her earlier. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, it's guaranteed she's going to keep it back to us until 6 30 this evening on the little TV. So, yeah.
Tony Clemente's financial worries are growing larger by the minute. How do you think that happened? I don't know. Probably the roof or something by the looks of it. The girlfriend done it. She put her feet up there and done it with her feet. She got a drink problem. I'm trying to get her off of it, but I'm not doing very well at the moment. I was in his car and I'd had a drink and I... I didn't even remember doing it. I pushed my foot straight into the windscreen. I cracked the whole windscreen. I didn't even remember doing it. It tends to trigger off something if I drink. If I'm stressed and I drink, I t it, my aggression comes out and I get, I lose it. If she does it again, I'll club her a one. <laughs> Do you think Kath will pay for it? Not really. She spent all her money on drink. When you've had a drink, you're very strong and you don't even know what you're doing. I swung that door and broke it. One day we were having an argument, I got hold of the door, I went smack. Look what I done, I split the top and I spit it all down there. We've had so many fights when I've had a drink. I've threatened to push Tony over here many times. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. He said he'd jump over here one day, I, we had such a fight in here. He said to me, I can't stand anymore, I'm going, I'm going to jump. I said, well, excuse me, Tony, I'm not clearing the mess up on the bottom down there. Oh, we've had some laughs, mate. 80 pound I got there. Right. yours. Right, thanks very much. No problem. I like people, but when I've had a drink, my... no, something takes over. She got a drink problem. I'm trying to get her off of it, but I'm not doing very well at the moment. Right. I was in his car and I'd had a drink and I. I didn't even remember doing it. I pushed my foot straight into the windscreen. I cracked the whole windscreen. I didn't even remember doing it. It tends to trigger off something if I drink. If I'm stressed and I drink, I t it, my aggression comes out and I get, I lose it. If she does it again, I'll club her a one. <laughs> Do you think Kath will pay for it? Not really. She spent all her money on drink. When you've had a drink, you're very strong and you don't even know what you're doing. I swung that door and broke it. One day we were having an argument, I got hold of the door, I went smack. Look what I done, I split the top and I spit it all down there. We've had so many fights when I've had a drink. I've threatened to push Tony over here many times. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. He said he'd jump over here one day, I, we had such a fight in here. He said to me, I can't stand anymore, I'm going, I'm going to jump. I said, well, excuse me, Tony, I'm not clearing the mess up on the bottom down there. Oh, we've had some laughs, mate. 80 pound I got there. Right. yours. Right, thanks very much. No problem. I like people, but when I've had a drink, my... no, something takes over. Nick's travelling to the other side of Bristol on the promise of a free TV. There's a Wendy's location somewhere, so hopefully I'll just knock on the door and politely ask the lady, a bit nervous, if I try and... Uh, actually, I should keep some tissue. My nose is always running. Well, I just have a shave, really bad. I'll be as polite as possible I can. I think this is number 20 here. Is that number 20? Yeah. All right, it's a light on. Hello, I uh, rang earlier in the trade about the little television. Yes. Um, I forgot to leave a name, my name's Nick. Is it? I, know, oh, I forgot. I don't know your name, sorry. Natalie. Oh, my name's, oh, thanks very much. Is it still here? Yes. Oh, thanks, yes. brilliant. Thanks, oh, yes. that's brilliant, thank you. It is. Thanks very much, okay, eh? I should give you a present. I just you. I've got a TV, I don't know what size Cabinet. it is. Oh, TV. I, um, I'm not English, so I talk in no. centimetres. Sorry, right, <laughs> so I Twenty French, or twenty? French? Yes, French. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, which is a colour TV. Oh wow! Yeah. Would you be interested? In I it? would actually. Yeah. It'll be great. I, I, I mean, it's not being used. I'll okay. I, I'll wait here. Thank you very much. Look at this. It's a wicked one. It's better than I thought. Just Are you right with that? Is that heavy? Do I? Okay. I got it. I got it. There's the cable. Thanks so much. Right. Uh, ooh, I got it. Safe like that. Thank you very much. Bye.